Good morning. It's day six of Advent, and we are participating in these reflections to kind of prepare us for the arrival that we're going to be celebrating of Jesus, the incarnation. Advent is this idea that Christ has come. The Advent means coming. And we are looking at Isaiah chapter 9 in verse 6 and the titles that Jesus has given as ways of preparing ourselves for Christmas with these Advent reflections. Now, we're looking at the wonderful Counselor King. That's one of the titles that's given the Messiah that is Jesus. And that wonderful Counselor is an answer to what humans need. That is that humans need a Counselor. We need a Counselor. So that's why God sent one. Now, the Counselor brings all kinds of uh, of counsel all kinds of advice, all kinds of wisdom, all kinds of different things. We Yesterday, we looked at he brings affirming wisdom. Today, let's look at a little bit at, at he brings challenging wisdom. That is, that he is not afraid to challenge us in the direction and the ways and our attitudes and all those different things. That's all part of love. The one who loves you actually wants to challenge you out of ways that are self-destructive or destructive to others. And so, therefore, he says things like, change your direction. That's the word biblically called repent. Repent means literally to change your mind. It means to change direction. The Lord would say, the counselor king would say to you and I, you're headed on a path that's going to lead you to hurt you or to hurt others. You're, it's leading you away from me. So he says, don't do that. Change your direction you know, and, and I, and it might look like all kinds of different things. It might be let go of that thing. It's hurting you. It's going to hurt you in the end. He would say to you and I, your idols are enslaving you. These things that you bow down to, that you focus on, that you are so craving, uh, that you are being polluted by this or that, or this relationship or that relationship, or that you need to repent or you need to forgive. That is, here's a person or persons or family or tribe that you need to forgive. And he will challenge us with those things because he only wants what is truly best for us. Now, when we use this term repentance, I, I like to use this thing. When one of my daughters was going through a difficult time and we were button, button heads right and left, I was asking the Lord, what do I do to fix this? And the Lord said, move in her direction. So every time she walked into the room, I got up and I moved toward her. I didn't move lots. I just just moved a little bit in her direction. And she would come in, I would touch her on the shoulder. I would say something kind. I would look to her in the eyes. I would essentially, I would change the direction of our, of my interactions with her. And over time, actually took a couple of months, probably three or four months. And as I changed that direction, our relationship changed. But I didn't make any massive moves. I didn't say, hey, let's sit down and have a come to Jesus meeting or anything like that. I just moved in her direction. And ironically, that this whole idea of repentance is literally changing the direction that I'm headed and moving in God's direction. It doesn't mean that I'm all better. That doesn't mean everything has changed about me. It just means that I've changed direction. So the wonderful Counselor King is providing challenging wisdom to us. Now we need to respond to him in that. That's part of our reflection in getting ready for the coming of Jesus. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you on Sunday.